previous interviews that as a storyteller and an artist, you have to understand your why. And that's what you'll turn to during those more challenging times. When did you, you discover your own why and how has it guided you throughout your career? Uh, good, great question. Thank you. Um, yeah, I feel like your why is the thing that motivates you. Um, it's the thing that when uh, everything else falls out, which it will, uh, it's the only thing that you're left with. And I, I think I found mine pretty early on um, and based more just on circumstance and, and being left with a lot of nothing. Um, and, and for me, like a huge motivator is my family. Um, so it, it helps that, I think it helps that a part of my why is not um, selfish in a sense of it's not just for me. So when I, I am at those lows, I think it's like, you know, knowing that I got to I got to work for someone else. Um, there's other people depending on me is, is nice motivation. Okay, my favorite answer to this next question, that mentorship has been such a cornerstone in your career. Who have been the people in your own life that you've turned to and been on this journey with you? Yeah, uh, outside of my parents, um, my first ever manager, Todd Sheeler. Um, he's always, always a great uh, shoulder to lean on and an ear to talk into. Um, and then uh, my current manager is Peter and Tara um, at Impact. They're, they're incredible. Yeah, you're one of the stars of the Winchesters, and this is a, such an interesting role in which we've seen a future version of this character who he ultimately becomes. How have you been able to bring your own take to this beloved character while also paying homage to past iterations? Uh, I feel like, you know, Robbie, Jensen, and I, we all talked a lot about uh, trying to do something different than Jeffries while, like you're saying, paying homage to to what he did. And I think the best way that we did that was uh, we basically developed a multi-season arc um, around the character where I would start playing like the complete opposite end of the spectrum. So where Jeffrey Dean was Darth Vader, I got to come in and play Anakin or mm. where Jeffrey Dean was, you know, um, what is it, uh, Heisenberg, I got to come in and play Walter White and the transition. So so I think inherently by playing more of the origin story, I get to play a different character while still paying homage to, you know, where he's going and like sprinkling in those little dark, dark sides to him. Yeah, you know, throughout the first season, you brought so much nuance to the duality of John's strength and his vulnerability. As an actor, how did you create the space for yourself to dive into the arc that unfolds? Uh, man, I think Robbie, like I said, Robbie does a great job. He assembled an amazing cast and everyone's incredibly supportive. So, you know, we, we would all sit there and, uh, we, we go over scripts together every time that we get them and we would just find out what was fun. And it, it, we just provided a really safe space to try things, to play with things. And if things didn't work, um, we could turn to each other and kind of like bounce off ideas. You were a fan of the show before joining this cast. Did that bring any added pressure come into it yeah uh it did actually because i when i told jensen that i was a fan uh he was like be careful saying that uh because he's like the fandom for the show is is real and yeah. he's like you say that you're a fan they're gonna ask you you know what happened in season four episode 20 minute to secondhand 37 you know and and it's like he's like and if you don't know those answers he's like they're gonna call your bluff and uh, fortunately, I, I actually was a fan of the show. Um, I won't claim to be a super fan. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, know, I know my shit, but I don't know <laughs> some of these fans that know, like, way more than I think the creators of the show know. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think there was definitely a responsibility in saying that, like, hey, I watch the show. I want to, you know, like, pay homage to it. And I want to, yeah. you know, service my part. Definitely was a lot of pressure, for sure. Yeah, you know, like you were saying, you know, earlier, you know, the creative team behind the scenes has, done, has made this set so collaborative and often turns to the actors to see what they want to see from their characters. What's one thing that you wanted to explore with John in season one? And if we're lucky enough to get a season two, what's something else that you want to dive further into? Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm very drawn. I've always loved the character, John. Um, and Jeffrey Dean is my favorite portrayal of that character. I think he does a flawless job of executing um, that stage of John's life. I was always drawn to the fact that he's a Vietnam veteran. Um, and I really, really want to explore a lot more of that. I would love to mm. do at least one full episode in Vietnam. Because um, I feel like it's it's one thing to hear about the horrors of war and how that affects and, and to see the effects of it. But there's another thing to see him actually go through it. There's another thing to see like his expectation and, and what soldiers expectations were going into Vietnam versus like what they realized it was when they were there. Um, and so I feel like that would be really, really beautiful insight into, into his life. So if, if we're fortunate enough to get a season two, I'd love to delve more into that. 
just does such a beautiful job balancing comedy and drama. For you as an actor, is one more challenging than the other? Yeah, I would say um, I always find, I think, I think anybody, I think there's a, almost a unanimous agreement that comedy is harder than drama because comedy has like, it's inherent beats that you have to hit. And if you can't, if you don't hear like the music, you, it's hard to follow the tone. And, and mm. I think um, it's a little bit more structured, uh, but I, I find comedy really, really fun. And I, I think, I think good drama has, has good comedy in it. I yeah. The two are, are, are help each other out a lot. Yeah, the series that played does that. And this is also the longest that you've lived with the characters. Anything surprised you about the overall experience? What's been the biggest takeaway for you thus far? Uh, yeah, just how how much less intense I, it is. Like, I think the longer that you live with a character, the more that that character becomes you. And I think yeah. after, you know, to speak for the guys on Supernatural, after 15 years, you just pick up a script, you know exactly what the fuck you're doing. You know, I know what choices I'm going to make. I know how my character would say this. And so I think um, that's that's made the whole experience really, really fun in the sense that, like, we've got to be with these characters now for over a year. Um, yeah. And so we're reading these new scripts. It's like, I, I just know what I want to do with this. I know what direction I want to go. But it doesn't it doesn't mean that I have to sit there um, like I would for a movie and have to write out mm. your intentions or write out your thoughts or whatever it is or, like, really, like, craft this story. It's like, ah, oh, cool. I trust that over the course of eight months we're going to, Form something yeah. really special here. Yeah, there's a major twist that happens in that season finale. How early on did the writers kind of clue you in on kind of the directory of the show, and how do you make sure that doesn't bleed into kind of your earlier performances? Um, well, with the 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 plot twist, that had been something that they discussed really, really early on. That like, hey, this is this is the most probable way that we're going to go with this. Um, the fortunate part about it is it really doesn't change anything for us and, and change yeah. any of our performances because until it's revealed to us. We don't know that there's an, you know, we don't know how things are getting alternated. And, and so it doesn't really change anything performance wise. Our characters, um, I said this in the last interview I, I did, our characters are the same characters that are canon. Um, it's just one event changed kind of their course. So like, if this is like, if this, if there's a straight line um, that is canon, like ours is barely off path of that is in my, my mind how I see it. Mm. Nothing really changes as far as performance goes. And this is one of your biggest roles today. And with the first season out completely now, what was your favorite, either favorite scene or episode to film and which was the most challenging for you? Uh, my favorite episode was six. Um, I loved getting to play Possessed. That was a ton, a ton of fun. Um, I think most challenging, most challenging was probably, I mean, two just had inherent, inherent challenges. We had an eight day film schedule for that. And then we had, a ton of lightning delays um, filming in New Orleans, not a ton of rain delays. So we ended up having to do that episode in five days with a crew that like, this was our first time working together. So that one was just like, it inherently had like a lot of difficulties and a lot of like, you know, friction. Um, but we, we ended up getting it to work and, and made our way through. And like you said earlier, the fandom for Supernatural, the Winchesters is unwavering. You've gotten to ex experience firsthand through conventions around the world, what the story and your characters meant to them. What has that experience been like for you as an actor? It's incredible, man. I, I It's the most unforeseen side of this whole thing. That I just didn't realize how much I was going to love it. Um, everyone's incredibly supportive and the people who go to those things love the show. So it just feels like just like a massive love fest. And um, yeah, it's like you're basically just going to have people tell you that they enjoy what you do. And that's, that's a really rare thing. I feel like in this industry, you're such a dynamic storyteller. And while we hope this series goes on for many more seasons, as you look ahead to the next five to 10 years, is there a dream role that you would love to bring to life? Oh my God. Yeah. Um, James Gunn is doing uh, like redoing the whole DC universe. Um, any part. And that would be amazing. But for the last couple of years, I've been just obsessed with uh, the character Nightwing, which is a mm. uh, yeah. of the, family so I would love to play something like that but honestly just to be able to be a part of that universe would be really cool